Spicy seat. Hi, I'm Shaylee C and welcome back to my channel. I am about to go ride the Green Goblin all by myself. Josh is doing the Trans American Trail right now on his Green Sportster, so I figured I'd put my Green Sportster to good use since I'm very jealous that I'm not doing it with him. I told him it'd be a funny joke if I did my Green Sportster on the Trans America Trail. I don't think that Willem Dafoe's the Green Goblin would handle any dirt roads very well. Starting to look like a freaking junkyard in here. Rest in peace to the old ride factory. I wonder who bought it. Okay, ramming speed. I'm heading up to Tampa's local pet resource center. I'm not sure if all places have one or even have this option there, but they do have a voucher program where you can bring in your tax returns to prove that you are poor and they will spay or neuter up to eight pets for $10. Y'all know your girl does not make that much money. So if I could save a bunch of money on a procedure that is required, I'm definitely gonna do that. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is available to all local pet resource centers, but if it's an option that you haven't thought of, definitely go check your options out because some people think that you know if you can't afford all of these things you shouldn't have a pet and I think that is classes there are so many options to provide a pet a good happy life maybe I'm just really sensitive this is actually my second time going up to the pet resource center and using their $10 voucher program the first time I ever did it was with Drake my senior dog that's 14 years old and I'm not really sure this when this video is gonna be out but on June 3rd I did make the decision to put my senior dog down and it is a very difficult decision to make because it's not like he's necessarily sick but his quality of life is getting to the point where I can tell that he's not as happy as he used to be and it's really hard to make this decision because I have had my senior dog Drake for 14 years, his entire life. I got him when I was in eighth or ninth grade and I adopted him off of Craigslist. He was free. The girl had 10 dogs and needed to get rid of at least half or her husband would leave her. So I took Drake off her and a Husky Malamute mix and my family hasn't looked back since. When I moved out for college, I took Drake with me since I wasn't living in a dorm. And although he was my family dog, he's really been my dog and my entire responsibility since then. It's almost deja vu to ride my motorcycle out here to get this voucher for my dog. Because about eight years ago, I was doing the same thing, except motorcycles were my only transportation at the time. So I had to. And I remember it was just so hot and miserable muggy and even though it's gonna rain today we're at that sweet spot of the day where it's actually still pretty cool and by cool I mean like 90 degrees this time around I chose to ride my motorcycle which is actually a pretty good feeling having to ride a motorcycle versus getting to ride a motorcycle completely changes the feeling of how you ride anytime I get on a motorcycle I sincerely enjoy it because it is my choice to get on that bike before i was riding a motorcycle because i was in poverty now i'm in poverty and i have a choice things are looking up guys oh my gosh i want to get a flatbed truck like that i also used to get really mad if somebody would wave at me on my bike because i took it really personally that I was immediately being sexualized as being a girl on a bike and now I take it as just hi. <laughs> now I don't think anything of it. I just wave back but I think I was just very sensitive when I was younger and now I'm less sensitive? Definitely a question mark on the end of that sentence. I don't know, going through your 20s is really hard. It'll definitely give you thick skin. Everyone says that being 30 is the death of your youth, but I'm honestly waiting to just feel emotionally and mentally stable, which everybody says you start to level out at 30, so I'm really hoping for that. Bilbo is almost one year old, so it's time for him to get fixed. I know everybody has their own opinions about when to put a dog down and when to get a dog 
fixed. At the end of the day, it's always the owner's decision, so you can never judge somebody on how they choose to raise their dog. I mean, unless they're neglecting it, then definitely judge them. I feel like I maybe went too far. I think I'm gonna pull over. Dinosaur World seems like a, as good an exit as any to pull over, if you ask me, so. Wow, I drove really far past it. Like, really, really far past it. Whew, I'm thirsty now. I probably should go inside and get a drink, but I'm just gonna go. I was not paying attention. This isn't the PC-800, okay? There's no GPS in cup holder. I'm not living my life of luxury. Apparently, being uncomfortable is badass. Like, I drove, like, at least 10 miles past where I was supposed to go. Okay, bye dinosaur world. I felt like I was driving a little far. Oh god damn it, now there's traffic. My ass would have just drove into Orlando and been hanging out with Blockhead. Should always turn your GPS on if you don't know where you're going. I was under the impression that since I lived here, I knew where I was going. Make sure my reserve isn't on. Lost and out of gas, that would be a Shaylee's special. I would literally just hitchhike. I spaced out and drove to Plant City. I can't believe it. Get out of the fast lane. Going twice the distance for no reason is a Brap Star classic. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough, right? I am melting. It's no longer cool. Like I said, I changed my mind. Okay, well, I made it to the Pet Resource Center and I got my voucher. Very painless, very quick. Now done. The hardest part was driving here because I'm stupid and I went the wrong way for... 10 miles so now to drive home that's only about seven miles away because i'm stupid Ooh, hot spicy seat wait i don't know if i need to go left or right take a right it's too hot outside well first of all i'm doing something i'm not supposed to be doing it's right off the bat here which is taking all the old soil from my dead plants and reusing it. Because if you watched my last plant time video, I poured all that soil on the ground. Remember that? I remember. Yeah, so like I said, I kill more plants than I own. So now I'm taking all those plants that I kill, such as Sorry about the squirrels that. ate this one. That wasn't my fault. Then you put them in the compost bin just in case. Thank you for your sacrifice. It's time I kept this outside of the pot for over a month. And last time we saw it, you like <laughs> broken it half a bunch of times, Jesus. Yeah, I killed all the babies because I overwatered it. Oops. I loved it too hard. You smothered it, they love. Yeah, I did, I really did. Bro, Not is focused. it alive? It's just so close. Back up, bitch. <laughs> I'm too close or you're too close. If you're noticing, I may be repotting some of the same pots I just repotted because they're still dying. Ah, that was a cover to dance. Spooky. What is, oh my God. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, we got some hail ants out here. Yeah, ant infestations happen in Florida. Oh, I need a new pot. My last one broke. I think our gardener knocked it over, so. Wow, your gardener did that to a plant? He's like the lawn guy. It's actually that same cactus that she's using and abusing over here. That's currently that cactus literally can take just thing. laying in the dirt over there. Bitch, it's me. How much for that puppy in the window? Free dig of your mind, Bilbo. Ah! More ants? No, I was just scared by the noise. Oh. That I bumped into the pot, and then I was just scared in general. You ever get scared by noises? Yeah. I feel like scared by noises all the time. I'm glad this plant survived. Look at all those new babies. Oh, looks the ants, she's flourishing. Gotta pull her hair back. All right, bitches, who's next? <laughs> so red. Yeah, it is so red. Too big! What's that story? Goldilocks, three little bears, three bears. I don't know, just one little bear. It was three bears, it was uh, the mom, the, the dad, the kid. Mom, a bear, papa bear. Yeah, yeah. little bear. And Goldilocks was like, I'm a picky bitch. Yeah, I'm also a criminal. <laughs> yeah. I relate. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing a B and E and then complaining about dinner. Yo, I relate to that shit. Like, I get it. Who's your housekeeper? What you keep in your house? What in the world is in this bed? What you got in that bed? Have you ever heard um, DMX saying we're not the red man goes from here? Of course, every Christmas. It's a classic. Right next to my Mariah Carey in the playlist. <laughs> if you drop it low enough in the mirror, Ludicrous will appear. So, with an overly logical face, 
pants down. Hey, what's up? Glenn, Joe, Jean, baby, oh, Get some of this plant progress. It's now dark outside. This is what she uses to plant every plant. It's the tiniest shovel. And I'm playing this background music on the tiniest heart. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. I really appreciate everybody's kind words in regards to last week's episode as well as today's episode. I really appreciate everybody's patience as I navigate these next few weeks and living without my body. I have been preparing for this day for a long time. I didn't even think I'd have this long with them, so I am very thankful. I do know I gave them the best life possible. Good boy. Had them all 14 years. We're going to have some new stuff coming up on brapstar.com, so make sure you go check that out. And we do still have a couple camp out shirts left, but not a lot. So make sure you go check those out as well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the ding dong diddle, and do all the things. I am here for you every Sunday and Wednesday, so I'll see you here on Sunday. Bye. If you drop it low enough in the mirror, ludicrous will appear.